Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this analysis. This time I want to compare Kenya Kwanza and Azimura Umoja campaigns in Ruiru, Kiambu County. Uh, some few minutes ago, Raila Morodinga has been campaigning in Ruiru town and is going to tour the whole Ruiru today, then later in Gatundu in Kiambu County. There are so many things I have seen from the two rallies. That's for Kenya Kwanza when they were in Kiambu and you and uh, Azmira Umoja in Kiambu today. I want us to see this politically and compare which team is likely to do well in Kiambu 9th August. In case you are here for the first time and you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly take a second or to subscribe and put on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, YouTube will automatically notify you. And for the returning subscribers, thank you very much for always supporting my channel. We are growing and now we are aiming at 5,000 subscribers. But kindly, if you are watching this, I would like to urge you that you continue supporting this channel by viewing every video I upload. When you view my channel, you promote it in a way by referring it to your friend. Let's go straight to the discussion of this video. Raila Morodinga, some few minutes ago, has been campaigning in Ruiru and still is in Ruiru constituency in Kiambu. So what I've seen in that rally, and I compare it with that of Kenya Kwanza, there's some things I've noted and I have to put them here clear. In Kenya Kwanza, youths in the rallies are energized. You get them so excited and they are cheering so much. What makes them cheer? When you look at the two sides, Kenya Kwanza is really spending a lot of money in their campaigns. They usually prepare earlier before they get to that day of campaigning. Though both sides must prepare before the actual day of campaigning. But Kunaila Tunaita energizing the crowd. How, how do they do? You find a group of people is set to move with the entire team, the whole county, or in every place they are dwelling, they have to move with that crowd. Uh, recently, we saw Moses Kuria saying that they usually hire people and move from one center to another during the campaigns. But what I've seen today, Raila Morodinga campaign in Ruru was a bit calm. That cheering was not that high compared to that of William Samoy Ruto. But in Kiambu right now, what you can see is that Port Raila Morodinga and William Samuel Ruto are gaining in Kiambu County. Because in every team, there are those who are as far from Kenya Kwanza and there are those who are in Azmio. You can't tell me that they are not going to give Raila Morodinga votes or William Samuel Ruto. They have to share. But they start one person who is going to get more votes than the other. But the fact is that right now in Kiambu, Raila Morodinga and William Samuel Ruto are really competing very well. Another thing I have noted is that in these rallies, in these campaigns, many people who are moving with the caravan is middle-aged people. You find that the age of 18 to 35, those are the people who are really following hard on the campaigns of Raila Morodinga and William Samuel Ruto. But I want us to categorically see who is likely to win in the general election in Kiambu 
county or the entire Kenya. Raila Amor Odinga has support that you won't compete with William Samuel. Why am I saying so? When you sample and put two groups aside, we have supporters of William Samuel Ruto in this hand, and we have supporters of Raila Amor Odinga in this side. When you count, or when you sample them according to their age, you will find that William Samuel Ruto has supporters of the age between 18 to 25 or 28. And when you look at Raila Amor Odinga, he has a sample of age between 25 to 35. Those are the people who are supporting the two. And when we look at that, who is likely to win? Who is likely to get more votes? Raila Morodinga can defeat William Samuel Ruto. When you look at the samples I've given you, the two teams, the age of 18 to 28, Wako Watwengi, but most of them are not going to vote. That those who are in colleges, universities, and that those who didn't join colleges or universities with ID, and that those without ID, but they are the team that are really moving, sharing here and there, and are the people who are talking William Samuel to so much. When you compare the other side, the age of 25 to 35 are people who are really working to ensure that their families are okay. They are struggling to make sure that things are okay. And those are the people who are going to fought. And those are the people I can say, those are the people you can call mature in supporting and team. I'm not saying that William Samuel to Hana your team. He also has the category of 25 to that eight, but the number is not that be compared to that of Raila Morodinga. Do you see many years Raila Morodinga has been campaigning that those stand supporters who are still in Raila Morodinga's side, even if you give them money or even if you do anything to them, they will never walk away from Raila Morodinga. Those are the people who have been supporting Raila Morodinga because this is not the first time they are, not, they are going to vote. That's why I saw I somebody that say age 25 to 35. The age of 18 to 25, 28 can support you and they can give you hopes, but they are not going to vote. They, they didn't prepare. They don't know the meaning of voting. They have young girls, young boys who will never bother and they're not going to vote. But the middle age and those who are aging old women and men outside there, they're really supporting Raila Morodinga. Those are the people who are going to vote. When you see the two things, they are sampling out that those who are saying that they are hustlers. Which category are they targeting? They're targeting people of Boda Boda, Mama Mboga, and other people. When you see Boda Boda guys, yes, they are millions of young people who are doing Boda Boda, but how many are they going to fought? You will find that most of them are not going to vote. You know that this time of election or the day of voting, we have aspirants or candidates who are using border border guys to move from one center to another center. Because during that day, if a border border guy is not going to wake up very early in the morning, vote, then he is not going to vote. That's the guy you find politicians, agents are using to move from one center to another. By using them, that means that most of them are not going to vote. When we come to Mamamboga, even if it is a day people are going to vote, that those women or men who are doing, who are selling Mboga in the market, they are not going to close down their business to go and fold. Why am I saying so? If they are going to close that day, they are needed to pay rent, they need something to eat, 
and they, they are going to make sure that they have retained their customers. Now imagine a mama mboga who is in Nairobi closing up the business to move from Nairobi, let's say to uh, Kakamega to go and fort. And that's the mama mboga, you'll find that she didn't transfer the fort from Kakamega to Nairobi. Now closing the business for 30 day, two or three days, it will cost Mama Mboga. But those are the people who are spreading the narrative of Hasla Nation. You, you see how this man is going to lose a lot of votes. And when you come to the other sector, let's say university college students who have completed studies, they have not gotten jobs, and that those who are still in school, that those who are going to be given days to go home and fought, that those who are not going to fought because they don't have fare to move from school to go home and fought. Those are the people are talking William Samoy Ruto. When we come to women, Again, back to Mamamboga, there are two young ladies in newly marriages who have not transferred their thoughts from their homes where they have been raised to where they are married. They are not going to be raised to go and fall that day. That's according to me when I'm seeing the team supporting William Samuel Ruto and the other team supporting Raila Molodinga. The other day I was telling some people that uh, right now you can see people are going to vote but when it comes to that material day many people are not going to vote. We have 22 million plus votes but trust me and Keep this video, less than 15 million registered voters are going to vote. That's what I had in this video. And in case you are here for the first time, as I said, kindly subscribe and watch, watch, watch. You can even trace my old videos, watch and see what I've been doing. Thank you and be blessed.